Hello everyone, I'm Matt from 3D360 and today I'm going to show you how to level the bed on your Ender 3 3D printer. Right, so the first step with levelling your bed is you want to preheat your machine. So to, to do this, click your scroll wheel in and you want to scroll down to temperature. Just click that again. Scroll down to preheat PLA and then click preheat PLA again. So what that's going to do is that's going to preheat both the bed and the nozzle because we want the, the printer at temperature um, whilst we level it. So the second step with levelling your bed is you want to auto home your machine. So to do this, just click your scroll wheel in again, go to motion and then click auto home. So that's just going to home the printer to zero in each axis so that the printer then knows where it is effectively. So the next step, now that the printer is heated up and auto-homed, is to actually start the bed levelling routine. Um, so the file for the bed levelling routine is on your SD card that you got on the course. So all you want to do is click your scroll wheel in, scroll all the way down to print from card. Now on some firmware this might say print from media, um, it just depends what version of the printer you've got. So click print from card or print from media, and then find 32-bit bed level. Click that and then click print. So that's going to move the printer to the first position. So the printer has just moved to its first position on the bed level and routine. So what we want to do is grab our post-it notes, just take one post-it note and put it in between the nozzle and the bed of the printer. And we're feeling for a bit of resistance. Now you're not feeling for much, um, almost like a bit of a scratching feeling, like writing on, on paper with a pen, that, that kind of resistance feeling. So at the minute I'm not feeling anything there. So I'm going to loosen the wheel off which brings the bed up, ever so slightly, and then just keep checking for resistance each time I adjust it. Now you'll notice I'm only doing really small turns. We don't want to do big turns um, because we can put a hole in the bed. So small turns at a time just feeling that post-it note until you start feeling a bit of resistance. So I'm feeling resistance there now, um, almost a bit too much, so you can see how it's a bit difficult to push the post-it note. So I'm just going to wind that wheel off um, a little bit more to bring the bed down. So I'm getting a nice, um, just ever so slight resistance feeling on it now, so that, that corner is perfect. So now that I'm happy with that first corner, I'm going to click my wheel in again, go to resume print, and that's going to move the print head to the second position. Now, I am going to put the post note underneath the nozzle before it moves down, just to almost act as a bit of a protection against damaging the bed, um, just in case this back corner is a little bit too high. So again, I'm just going to feel for the same thing, feel for the resistance, and adjust that back wheel ever so slightly until it's about right. And then I'll do the same for all four corners um, in the routine and what you'll see on screen at the minute is the order of the, the corners that the routine follows. Um, so it'll do each corner, go to the middle, each corner again and then the, the routine will finish. Feel free um, to obviously run the routine again if you're still not happy with your bed levelling um, and just keep doing that until it's, um, until it's right. So the printer has just got to the middle position on the bed. Now you can't adjust the middle, it's more of just a checker, um, just to see how level the bed is in the middle compared to the corners, but all the adjustments are done with the four thumb wheels on each, uh, each corner of the bed. So the printer has just finished its bed levelling routine, which means we're now okay to move on to the bed tuning, which gives us a visual guide um, on how level our bed is.